So EBV PTLD is uh, a relatively rare complication that can occur uh, after solid organ transplantation or uh, allogenic stem cell transplantation and uh, the key risk factor for uh, this complication is the uh, deep immunosuppression that is encountered by uh, these patients. Obviously, if you want to tackle this complication, uh, you would like first to try to decrease the intensity of the immunosuppression. However, uh, this is not feasible in most uh, cases. Uh, Monoclonal antibodies targeting uh, CD20 are currently the standard uh, of care, uh, but we know that uh, uh, many patients, unfortunately, can fail. And in that case, the only alternative you have is the use of chemotherapy. But again, chemotherapy has its side, its negative uh, effects, although it can be effective in uh, many cases. This is why we need uh, trials to validate the use of cellular therapies versus the conventional chemotherapy. Because at the end of the day, we would like to uh, cure these patients suffering from EBV PTLD using smarter tools trying to use the power of the immune system uh, towards controlling the proliferation, especially that they are uh, quite safe in uh, this fragile and very sick population. The uh, EBV CTL uh, study is relying on a product uh, uh, developed and manufactured by Atara uh, Biotherapeutics and uh, this company actually has a very uh, amazing platform for manufacturing cellular therapies not only the EBV CTL but also novel uh, generation of uh, uh, CAR uh, T cells uh, in uh, hematologic malignancies and we know very well that this field of CAR T cells is moving very uh, rapidly uh, because we are already Already at second generation but the third and fourth generation are already I would say available with in vitro uh, animal uh, data but also trials ongoing so uh, actually uh, the company is at the forefront of uh, uh, advances in this domain uh, the use of uh, CTLs directed against the EBV PTLD is very important and is uh, very useful in this unmet medical situation. However, we all believe that these cells at some point should move uh, earlier into the course of the disease because the immune uh, system is likely the most powerful agent to uh, control uh, tumor, tumor proliferation. Uh, so uh, definitely uh, our hope for the near future is to be able to use these cells uh, earlier and maybe uh, get rid of the conventional chemotherapy. In parallel, of course, beside the uh, cohorts or single arms uh, information or results, we would love to have uh, phase 3 data and randomized data and this is what's uh, currently uh, ongoing in this field and I think uh, the future looks very promising for this trial. The, uh, this ongoing phase 3 trial uh, is uh, moving quite fast and actually hopefully we will uh, would expect some interesting results within a year or so. So uh, maybe the next ASH meeting, the ASH 2019, we'll see uh, the, some of these first results.